You had a pretty quick uh, rise to the to the top there. You fenced senior world championships, just 18 year old, 18 years old. You were a were you dead world champion a long time ago <laughs> in 2013. Um, so yeah, you you had a lot of success at at uh, the levels leading up to the senior worlds. Uh, now this year, uh, almost almost a year later, uh, you took a gap year uh, yeah. after high school. How have you been spending that time and, uh, yeah? Uh, well, I got an internship at a local telecommunications company, just kind of like, it was a business internship just to learn some uh, stuff about small business and running small business uh, thanks to the generosity of one of the uh, parents of the fencers from my club, Jason Herbst. He uh, extended his help to me and I accepted it graciously, I guess. Uh, but he's been a lot of help. Uh, he's really accommodating to my schedule. He kind of let me form my work schedule around training. Said if you're working too much, then you can train more, work less. He's really accommodating towards all the travel that I do. And he's been really helpful. Uh, to say that it hasn't helped would be a lie. And I'd, I'd say that he, that's been pretty good. And then I've been training as well every day. Uh, and that's been going well too. So the, the only part that hasn't been going so well is like the mental game, but uh, things have been pretty good. I'd say technically I've become stronger this season. I've uh, become a better athlete. And uh, at home it's been like pretty good, but in the competitions it hasn't gone as well. I had like a rough year mentally and uh, not done very well in the competitions. I uh, that's also relative. I'm eighth in juniors, I think, at the end of the season, which a couple of years ago I would have been extremely happy with. And I'd say I'm still pretty happy with it because I am still able to get results to some extent. And I showed some results internationally and I won some good bouts. And I was the anchor of the US team for uh, all the World Cups this season. And I had some pretty intense bouts and it's gone pretty well overall. But um, Individually, I just haven't been able to put it together the way I used to. And it's been disappointing, but it's also been humbling. It's definitely um, an experience to go up to the top and then to drop down. And I wouldn't say I drop down to the bottom, but I definitely drop down a significant amount in my mind. And like I said, everything's relative. So everybody has their own opinion about how this year has gone. And uh, in seniors, I definitely drop down because Especially in the U.S., it's really easy to go up and down, which is one of the problems I say we face on the international circuit because we don't always send the same guys, and it's really hard to get experience at that level. But uh, I still have gone to a lot of the Senior World Cups because I'm still high enough to go to the World Cups, but I'm definitely not in the top four anymore, and that's been all right. I'm slowly transitioning. I feel like little by little I'm getting more mature. It's just too many mistakes add up at the competitions. But again, like I said, in my year off, I've been training and working. To answer your original question, training <laughs> and working and uh, just trying to have fun. I don't think I was mentally ready for college this year. And I'm glad I took some time off because uh, again, the, the immaturity that I mentioned before, uh, it's not only on strip, it's in a lot of other places. I've been trying to, not necessarily trying to work on that, I guess just trying to live and gain experience and learn from them because what builds maturity is learning from your mistakes and uh, try not to make too many mistakes, but yeah.